Welcome to the first lecture for English version students and the first lecture is related about Ohm's law and EMF. Let's discuss Ohm's law. We all know about Ohm's law. Actually, we have been uh, discussing about Ohm's law, studying about Ohm's law since class 8 maybe. So what is Ohm's law? Suppose we have a wire. I am on the current is flowing, then we can say that the current flow through a wire is directly proportional to the voltage difference between two sides of the wire. You know this statement, so you can just write it in, in your note as is to do. So, so here is the wire. This is point A, this is point B. We have a resistance here and I am out of current is flowing. VA is the voltage of point A, VB is the voltage of point B. I am out of current is flowing, so we can write here current I is proportional to voltage difference variation VA minus VB. That's the voltage difference. I proportional to VA minus VB. And why I have written here VA minus VB? instead of VB minus VA is because here VA is greater than VB. Why? As we know current flows from higher potential to lower potential. Higher potential to lower potential which means higher voltage to lower. If you see this line you can see here the arrow sign which indicates the direction of current flow so current is moving towards this direction, right? So that's the direction of current flow. So if, it's, if that's the direction of current flow, then this side should be higher potential and that side should be lower potential. Higher potential, lower. Higher, lower. Higher, lower. So VA is the higher potential and VB is the lower potential. So definitely it's a VA minus VB. We can also write I is proportional to del V. Del V also indicates voltage difference. Or I proportional to V. Let me remind you this V is not the voltage rather than is the voltage difference. Okay. V is the voltage difference. So that's the law. And what we can write here from this part of Ohm's law. I equals to something into V. We know that if we put here an equal sign instead of this proportional design there should be a constant the proportionality constant and for this Ohm's law this proportionality constant is denoted as capital G G for girls at G I proportional to G V so what is this G? Yeah, obviously it's a proportionality constant but uh, is it signifies anything else? so let us discuss about G okay G is known as conductance. Conductance. G is equals to conductance. So from Ohm's law, I is equals to G into V, G proportionally constant. And we can write G is equals to I by V, current by voltage. So what will be the unit of G? Unit. At the top part, we have current I. The unit of current is ampere. And at the bottom part, we have voltage or potential. The unit of potential is V. Ampere volt. Ampere volt. So ampere per volt. This is also known as Siemens which is capital S. So the unit of conductance is actually Siemens. We can say that one Siemens equals to 1 ampere per volt. 1 Siemens equals to 1 ampere per volt. So what is the equation of G? It's I by V. There is another important part of this G. We define it by some other way. And what is that way? The conductance, that is G, is also known as inverse of resistance, which means more G, more resistance means what? 
more obstacle so more resistance more obstacle less conductance so more conductance means less obstacle similarly so we can write that g is equals to 1 by r as its inverse of resistance so g what is the unit of g one simmons we can write it as 1 by r right what is the unit of r ohm 1 by r inverse so 1 simmons equals to 1 ohm inverse this is very important this can appear in mcq so if we put this 1 by r in place of g from this equation i is equals to gv we can write i is equals to 1 by r into v or v is equals to i r that is the actual equation for ohm's law and now another important part uh, which is actually important for you what types of question appears from here from this section two definition appears from here definition number one So these are two definitions. Definition one defines G, that means the conductance, and definition number two defines Siemens, that means the unit. The second definition is one star important, that means less important. Money comparatively more important, but less important than the first one. So this is your SW to complete these two definition, or I will give you the exact definition in the next class. So these two are. And now one more important topic which appears from the Ohm's law and that is the graph. Graph of Ohm's law. This is known as IV graph or current versus voltage graph. So I it will be on y axis and V it will be on x axis. So that is the Ohm's law. I proportional to V by R and if you do know the three steps of drawing a graph from an equation then you can understand that's how x axis the voltage the first step of drawing graph is put x axis as 0 so v 0 if you put 0 here 0 by r which means i will be 0 so when v is equals to 0 i will be 0 0 0 that's our origin right so this graph will start from the origin Yx is i. What is the sign in front of i? Positive. Xx is v. What is the sign in front of xx is positive? So both are positive. So if both positive, then step 2. The graph will be the increasing graph. It will move upward. What is step 3? The power of y axis. Y axis is i. Power of i is 1. Power of x axis. V. The power of v is also 1. 1 1. So if power is 1 1, then the graph should be straight line. So straight line increasing from the origin. So this is the graph of the Ohm's law. And now what about the slope of the graph? You know that slope is a very important part for a graph. So as we know, a slope equals to change of y axis by change of x axis. Y axis by x axis. So what is there in our y axis? I, I, what is there in our x axis? V, I by V, y axis by x axis. And we can also define slope as we know I by V is equals to G, the conductance, and we also know that it's the inverse of resistance. So there are some MCQ question appear from this section. Suppose the question asks you, uh, what is the slope of IV graph? They will give you some options conductance, inverse of resistance, only resistance, current. Then I hope you can write it down, right? And the unit of slope question may also appear what is the unit of slope? So, which of the following is the unit of slope as MCU? I by V, so ampere per volt. We can also write it as Siemens or Ohm inverse. So, 
There are another types of MCQ which appears in question uh, that is problem based MCQ. And I will give you a problem based MCQ as a SW and you will solve it. And I will give the solution of that SW in the next lecture. So let's now let's discuss about EMF. EMF, the elaboration of EMF is electromotive force. We studied it in our secondary level. And we already memorized the definition, very long definition. Let's forget about that definition. Obviously, you have to memorize it, and if the question appear, define EMF in your exam paper, then obviously you have to write that down. But my question is very simple. We have a circle here. We have an external resistance denoted as R. We have a cell and the power of the cell as we know as EMF, capital E. My question is very simple to you. What is, actually I have two questions. Number one, what is the task of a cell in a circuit? And question number two, what is the task of resistance in a circuit? Okay, let me give you some hints or uh, if I allow you to answer this question then a lot of people will say a lot of answer. So what are the probable answer? You can say that cell provides electron to circuit as we know without being cell electrons will not flow. So cell provides electron not 100% accurate because the wire already contains electron. So it's not important that cell provide electron. What about resistance? One can say that resistance provides obstacle to electrons. Okay, but if I wanna say in more accurate way or more simple way, what is the task of the cells? Actually, cell provide potential. We know the potential voltage. Cell provide potential to electron. So cell is the potential provider. And what is the task of the resistance is? If someone provides, then there would, will be someone that will use those provided things. So resistance to that job. Resistance are the potential user or consumer. So the potential which our cell provides to electrons is known as EMF. So in short, if I want to define EMF, please don't write in your exam paper. It's just in short. The EMF is the potential. EMF is the potential provided by the cell or supplied by the cell and what is the potential which is being used by the resistance we know as we know this part as We know this used potential by resistance as used voltage or voltage used, dropped voltage or voltage difference. So we got the idea about what is EMF and what is the used voltage. EMF is the provided voltage by the cell and used voltage is being used by resistance itself. So now so, E is the provided potential, V is the used potential. So, if we look into this circuit, we have a resistance here and we have only one cell. So, provided EMF is the E. And if I ask you how many uh, resistance are here, you can look at here, we have only one resistance. I'm this resistance is outside of the cell, so I denote it as R out. R out, that means the equivalent 
resistance outside of the cell. It can be one resistance, it can be two resistance, it can be thousands of resistance, doesn't matter. RL is the equivalent resistance outside of the cell. That means if I ask you calculate the equivalent resistance and you calculate the equivalent resistance, that equivalent resistance is our R, which is visible. Now, what is invisible? And that is we have another resistance in this circuit except this R out and that resistance line inside of the cell. Weird but true. Cell 2 has one resistance inside. We know this resistance as internal resistance, small r. So the, there are two resistance, one is R out, external resistance, and one is small r, internal resistance. So as we already know that the task of a resistance is to consume potential or use potential. So suppose the potential used by R out, the potential used by R out is V out. So V out is the potential used by R out. That is the external resistance. And what is the potential used by the internal resistance? As it's a resistance, its task is to use potential, right? So small array will also use some amount of potential. And that potential is not used outside, it's internally used, and that potential is known as loss potential. Okay. So potential is being used by two way. Number one V out externally and number two V lost internally. So provided by one way as EMF and used by two as V out plus V lost. So that's the provided and that's the used. So this should be equal from the conservation. Provided used. As we know from the Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. So V out, who uses V out? External resistance. So V out should be I R out. And what about V loss? Who uses the internal resistance? So V loss will be I into smaller. And if you simplify this. This is the final equation regarding current flow and EMF and among the most important equation of the inter electricity. So till now this is the, our final moment and I will give you a SW some problems regarding today's topic and you will obviously do it and in the next day I will solve it and give you uh, the another lecture and another SW. Okay. So please, uh, you can see uh, these videos of my lectures in my Facebook page and my YouTube channel and please do share these lecture videos with your friends of our college and of other college if you want because these lectures are actually important and when the situation uh, will appear, if it appears uh, good appear good in the next few days then there will be exam for all of you so please share these videos and please do SWs okay and you can uh, if you have any problem then you can obviously uh, ask me via Facebook or via my page